everyone, and welcome back to a writing guide. Today we will have a look at the Pelican M200 Green Marble, which is one of the standard colors from Pelican's M200 lineup. We'll talk a bit about the history, some detail shots, and writing sample. And also, I would also like to make the case that a pen with a well-tuned steel nib could write just as good, if not better than some of the gold nibs, and would be more suitable to your writing need. The company Pelican used to be an ink factory, started in 1838, and mainly produced art supplies instead of fountain pens. The predecessor of the M200 we have today was the Pelican 100, which got the name in 1931. It hasn't changed too drastically from the original version, aside from the cap and minor details. The size of the 200 is also similar to vintage pens, so for those who would like to have the feel of an old pen but do not want to go through the hassle of owning one, this would make a compelling alternative to the vintage models. Please let me know your thoughts on it down in the comments. The cap has a traditional pelican bird and through time the company has had minor changes to the logo which could be used to date your pelican pens. I would include some links in the description so that you could use them as references. The machining on this pen is pretty much on the same level as the M400, a bit lighter due to the components of the piston being made of plastic. The M200 has a piston filler and nib unit consists of a steel nib and a plastic feet which could be swapped out for a similar size M400 or M405 gold nib unit. However, when it comes to the writing samples, I would like to make the case that the steel nibs could serve you just as well as any gold nib pens would do. If you were a longtime supporter of the channel, and has been following the Instagram for a long time. You might know that I previously had owned an M200 myself, the 2014 Cognac with the same medium steel nib. As for the writing sample, I'm having it inked with diamine jet black and the writing experience has been nothing but pleasurable. I used to feel the M200 was a bit too small to my hand, but now having the time to return to it, I don't really mind the size that much anymore. The steel nib gives a different feeling compared to the gold 400 nibs. It's firm and has more grip to the paper, and some people might like it more than the Bird Smooth writing experience. And that brings up the question, does it always have to be a gold nib? To me, the answer is no, since sometimes all you need is a nib that writes. It's true that stainless steel is a stiffer material compared to 14 karat or 18 karat gold, but the material that makes up the nib is just one factor contributing to the user experience. It also includes the size of the tipping, how the feed is regulated, and even the ink and paper that you choose for that pen makes up the whole experience, not just the nib alone. For regular writing, I don't think anyone would spend their whole day pressing down on a nib just to coax the paper with ink and fancy line variation but I would like to know your thoughts on this. What's your preferred nib material? How does it affect the writing to you? The M200 is definitely a nice introduction pen to Pelicans, and I think lots of people would be happy to have a copy as a daily writer, one that wouldn't have to be constantly worrying about all the time. And with the ink capacity, it would definitely be a solid writer for years to come. So. What are your thoughts on it? If you own a Pelican M200 or if you own some higher models of Pelicans, what are your experience with it? Please let me know in the comments down below. And here comes the lengthy writing samples. Before I end the video, I would like to say thanks to The Reading Cabin for lending me this pen for the video. So if you're happening to be in the Ho Chi Minh City area, please check them out. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.